First, it was Boulder County, then Jeffco, Adams, Arapaho, and Douglas, all announcing that masks are no longer required in their outdoor public spaces. I have personally become an enormous believer in the great outdoors as being a very forgiving environment. Which is why Tri-County Health Director Dr. John Douglas helped make the decision for his jurisdiction, citing increases in vaccinations and a better understanding of how the virus spreads and how easily it can get diluted outside. I think what we've tried to do is to look really hard at everything we're doing that restricts the way we live. And those things that we think are really strongly likely to make a difference, we should hold on to. Like indoor masking and six foot distancing even when outside. Common sense rules that Dr. Michelle Barron says still apply everywhere. But running or biking or hiking, the risk is really extraordinarily low. It's That's not the part, the activity part is not where, it's the social part of it. With people that aren't normally in your bubble, that's where the risk is, if you ask me. Risks that are serious and as UC Health's Director of Infection Prevention, Dr. Barron has watched closely as more and more variants make an appearance in Colorado. This is obviously progress, uh, but it's also not a time to become complacent. Yet she still agrees that COVID spread, even with variants, is low outside. And even though we're not at herd immunity, Dr. Douglas says he's comfortable making calculated changes to his approach. Let's pick and choose. Let's just don't do some big sledgehammer thing. Everybody's sick of sledgehammers. Nobody particularly likes our surgical scalpel approach in some ways, but I'd rather be using a scalpel than a sledgehammer. Liz Kodalik, 9 News. Jefferson County is also standing by its decision to remove the outdoor mask mandate, despite a potential dial switch from blue to yellow because of rising cases. Tri-County Health says it's planning on issuing guidance for outdoor events in the coming weeks.